how many players did a certain action or when they did it or how often they did it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it gets a little bit more complex than that too. Yeah. Uh, so we can see like spawn rates and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I don't think it's a secret, but there will be a survey tied to the beta too. Uh, so we're looking for actual feedback from the players that aren't just hard numbers, but like what their opinions are. In What does an open beta mean for State of Decay 2 and why will this be a thing almost 3 years after the initial game release? Here I will explain the concept of an open beta, sum up the recent stream of Undead Labs and also explain you why an open beta is still a great thing for SOD 2. Thereby hi, <laughs> greetings survival veterans, Tino here. Now first thing State of Decay 2 went through many closed betas and all the beta players which was a very small group of entrusted testers by the way who were testing patches and features that weren't out for the rest of us but they had signed a contract with a clause which restricted them to speak, write or generally make content about what's in there. I know several people last year wrote me in the comment sections that they are beta testers and gave me absolute minimalistic hints when I was going the right way with my speculations and ideas before Green Zone came out, before Lethal Zone, before the difficulty sliders. The open beta on the other hand will be accessible for everyone who's fulfilling the requirements, which is currently owning the PC version, PC version of that, can't even talk as usually, and owning the game on Steam, but this can be, and probably will be, accessible for Epic and Windows players as well and hopefully for Xbox too, even though you need to understand that it'll cost more resources and Undead Labs already has limited resources for SOD2 left, since it's going to be a free year old game next month. Believe it or not. Chris, why run an open beta on a game like this? So, great question. Um, we can play test the game internally all we want. Hard to tell exactly how players are going to react to something or how they're going to play through it. Uh, so, one thing we really want to do is be able to test with people who play the game or potentially even are new to the game. Uh, so, one way to do that is through betas. Uh, open is better, in my opinion, in just that we get to collect that much more feedback. So, whether it's through telemetry, looking at actual stats on like what players are doing with X, Y, or Z, or through survey feedback. Uh, it's all in the vein of trying to get as much feedback as possible and incorporating into the game uh, before it becomes a real, like full-fledged update. Write it up, work on it, get ready to release it for an update, you know, test it thoroughly, and then put it out there. When we're running an open beta like this, this is a much more direct route for you to give us your feedback earlier, to help us improve the game faster. And, and we can get sort of, you know, the improvements we need to make based on your feedback. But yes, it's kind of unfair for others that it's only available for Steam owners and that is coming from someone who owns it on Steam. My pal Congrexus Prime also made a great video about the open beta for SOD2 and also summed it up pretty well but I will go more into other details and have other ideas and things I want to cover up and uh, yeah, explaining the concept within the next seconds so make sure to check his video out as well after this one, we would both appreciate it. What will this mean for us in general? First you need to know if you sign up for it, you can then only play multiplayer with other players who are also playing the open beta version. Second of all, you need to own it on PC and therefore Steam legally bought, but there is the possibility that it'll come to Windows, Epic and all the other PC versions, but it's not confirmed. And then the last, and this is where I'm not sure, and also asking you and other players, especially the ones who are closed beta testers, will this ruin my other communities? My legacy pool, save files, especially if I'm going back to the normal version, or leave them completely unaffected. Beta testing will be a great opportunity for Adnet Labs to directly respond and address bugs that testers will encounter, prove the statistics, for example, the way they will play the game, what their favorite weapons are, favorite vehicles, survivor skills, and then apply certain changes, especially to the lesser used, and improve them and get patched so more players start using them. I'm pretty sure they will put a big focus on both the difficulties and also the difficulty sliders and where players struggle the most and where they could amp up the difficulty and challenges when a player get too comfortable at lethal zone which matter of fact without even flexing happened to me since a month and uh, a couple other core players I'm talking with. So the open beta will be a playground for people who want to provide a direct way of feedback and send things that would be overlooked or couldn't be specified good enough on the wishlist page in the best possible direct way. All the work in progress can be tested by the testers now and applied to a way how they want the patches and features to be, like a direct feedback which allows the devs to apply fine tuning and adjustments before the features actually make it to the public update release. In my honest and humble opinion, and you know I'm always frankly and honest with those, 
I think this is one of the best things on it Labs ever did since Lifeline. <laughs> now my two restrictions up until I get to your replies on the question I asked before. If this will corrupt my normal save files or if it leaves them untouched and my second one which I'll ask in a second will affect my final verdict if I'll get a beta tester or become one. Want to create if I'm going to be a beta, beta tester. A group of four players. Two slots are already taken which will be me and my buddy LJ aka Nervous Wreck. In case of unknowing, like I said, the aforementioned thing. The third slot is maybe, which is why I'm asking you Prime, are you sure to purchase the Steam version of the game so we can continue playing it together and share upcoming content of what we find there? Monday, I would have loved to play with you but I know you don't own the Steam version. If you decide nonetheless to get your hands on, let me know. Otherwise I want to know from you Krypton, do you own the Steam version or would you be up for it and have enough time for doing so? If so, then we would have 4 slots. But then, I still need 1 or 2 people with whom I want to play with, which is why I ask my most active viewers and subscribers if you're up for it. Bao Li, Clumsy Boy, Nick Kendera, CW Bebop, State of Decay 2 fan, Galei Sirkudai, I hope once again I haven't butchered your name, and of course, but unfortunately you also own the Xbox version easy free. Please let me know in the comments, the sooner the better, and everyone else who owns a Steam version, you of course are all free to contact me in the comments below or my Twitter, which I will just blend in here the screenshot also linked in the uh, description and the comments both as well. Last but not least I leave my Steam friend code in the comments and description too, or if you don't know how to search with a friend code on the Steam search, type in Salvatore Tino, everyone is allowed to add me of course. So yeah, after this is all covered up, you know what to do, you own the Steam version or you are plan to be a beta tester, let me know, we will partner up, make a group of four, testing the games or, or the features and updates that will come, the patches, stuff like that. Please respond to the question I asked, reply to that if you know about it better than me. Up until then, I wish you a great day, stay healthy, bye. I wanna thank most sincerely all of my channel members who joined to my channel and support me in the best way, so I can also upgrade the quality in my equipment which I recently did for my computer, who are Bartosz von Welke, Bao Li, CW Bebop, Aaron Chamberlain, B-Boy Tape Deck for the recent upgrade, then of course, light, love and peace, my buddy Congrex is prime, also for upgrading, and furthermore of course, also the Merchants of Trust, who are Easy Free Trucker, Tyler Edels, Michael Beal, Lizzie 56 then recently joined State of Decay 2 fan, Nervous Wreck and Galais Yehudai, I hope I pronounced the name right and didn't butcher your name, thanks a lot to all of you.